Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is Linda from Linda's Stampin' Escape. I would like to thank you for joining me today. For those of you who are new to viewing, I'd like to welcome you to one of my stamping classes. Hello, Barb. How are you today? All right. Looks like I have everything working. That's good to know, right? Right. All right. We got a couple people watching already. So last time, I believe, we did fun folds. And this time, we're going to focus on designer series paper. And the reason being is that the top three picks for celebration are actually the designer series papers. Who knew? You guys are pretty awesome. <laughs> so, yes, the top picks. One of them is here. Let's get them out here. The Flower and Field designer paper. That was one of them. And then, of course, the Oso Ombre. That is so fun to work with and so easy to work with. And I thought for sure it was going to be the donkeys, but nope, it wasn't. And then the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. That is the third of the designer papers. And of course, there's even one in the back here that coordinates with a stamp set. And that's pretty much up on in the top as well, doing well. Hello, Beth. Hi, Olivia. Yes, I'm feeling better. Them little migraines kind of sneak up on you. So, hi, Chris. How are you tonight? So, a lot better than yesterday. And thank you all for asking and checking up on me and stuff. So, that's really sweet. So, yes. Tonight, I'm going to give you some tips on the designer papers. Since they seem to be a favorite of everybody's, at least all the freebies. Well, and they are so pretty. I'm going to be using the Ornate Thanks stamp set tonight along with my um, cards. I have some to show you, and then I'm going to be doing some cutting. So, giving you some good ideas and stamping tips on how to maximize your 12 by 12 designer series papers. So, isn't that fun? And then tomorrow on my blog, um, as most of you know, I put this video up on the blog for the next day. But I have two more cards that I will be sharing with you tomorrow. So, let's start out with some fun stuff here. And this is, I don't know how fun, but this is a nice tip on the cutting. So, as you can see, 12 by 12, and I didn't want to cut into it or, you know, ahead of time or draw on it. So, what you see here is our basic cuts normally, and I know I've, I've already shown you some of this already, but it's also a good time to get a refresher. So a lot of times what I like to do is cut mine in a uh, four by six, which is this line down here. So do four by six. When you do that, you've got this little piece here that you can either cut off or if you want, you can leave this entire strip and use that as a belly band or use it on a scrapbook page because that oh, is approximately an inch and a half. So it's a nice size piece that you would cut off. And that is if you were cutting to five and a quarter. Now, let me just show you here. I'm using the Berry Blessings. And this is what you get 
when you cut it down to the four inches, because you're going to do four and four, and then you're going to do the five and a quarter, that's right here, and then you have this little piece left over here. So if you cut it this way, you will have a little slice left over for each card. So this is what I did with my Berry Blessings, and I just tucked that little extra piece right inside. That way you won't have a naked inside card, right? So that's that. And then I just trimmed out some little berries. And of course, Winka Stella had to go on there because I wanted to highlight those. All right. And then my second one, when you're working with the four by sixes, so that would be here all the way down. So that's a nice big piece. And what I did is I scored it along this line. And then I folded this piece over. So that is what you're seeing here. So here is your five and a quarter, and then it was scored and folded over. So you have no waste and no extra cutting. So here you're gonna just cut six pieces, four inch by six inch, score at five and a quarter, and fold that piece right over because that is the other side. And then we just add a little greeting. So quick and easy cards here with this technique. And it's a great way to save paper. Make sure you use it all up. And who doesn't need quick and easy cards sometimes, right? Okay, so that's the Berry Blessings. And that is the four inch, and you're gonna get six of them four, 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 and then five and a quarter or six inches, whichever way you prefer. And I think you can see that here. So here would be six. So cut it in half and then slice it into four inch pieces. And then you can fold that piece over or you can trim it down later if you prefer to do it that way. But that's a good way of doing it. And this is just the back of my, oh, this one's well suited. And you can do this with any of your papers. Now, I got lucky on this one because it doesn't matter. Um, the berries are not that particular. So if you wanted to do a landscape versus a portrait, you would be okay. But when you're working with something like the ice cream cones, then you have to be careful on which way you're cutting your four inches. So you can cut four inches this way and this way, and then you will end up with a piece like this. So if you're cutting your four inches, the landscape, you will end up like that. So when you're pre-cutting that kind of stuff, you have to kind of remember where you're going with that. And then I have this one here, which we will just bring right in, and I'll kind of show you what I meant. So here is your four by six. So you can see that goes all the way out to six inches. And we cut it at four horizontally there, so we get that. And now we are going to score at five and a quarter. Now make sure I get my cutting blade out of the way and just bring the score in there. There we go. So now we have our little score line. Now you have nothing thrown away here. And we're just going to fold this over. Give it a nice little burnish here. Make sure our crease lays down there. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive and I'm gonna put that on the end and fold that over. Now you can do layers, but we're talking quick and easy cards. We don't want scraps, so we don't wanna go trimming around with everything. So what we're gonna do with that then is just add a little ribbon. I don't know if you guys were at my um, 
one card making class, but I kind of don't like, I don't know, what are they, naked edges or just edges in general? So I like to cover them up. So we're going to put a little adhesive back here. And hopefully, there we go. Look at that. Linda. Getting a little too anxious there. Bring that around. And we will snip that off. My paper snips here. Hope you're all doing well tonight. Look at that. That is our Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Ooh, it's so pretty. Striped, I believe they call it, because you can see little stripes on there, but it's a beautiful striped organdy. All right, and then we're going to just tie this up. Now, I did not pre-stamp a greeting for this, and I probably should have, because now I have nothing to put on it. I'll surprise you at a later date. I'll repost this with um, probably some other cards, of course. Now, I like to go right over the top of my ribbon and then a little bit on the end there so my corners don't pop up. And then bring that down. That little bit of brown, which is cute because it's the opposite side, of course, from our cones. But it really makes the cone pop a little more, doesn't it? And then you could add any type of greeting. If you're pre-cutting and you just cut matching bases while you're at it, you could even make up your cards this far and then add any type of greeting at a later date if you wanted to. Or make a whole bunch of birthday cards and then celebration cards and whatever you want. But it's just so quick and easy and... Of course, Stampin' Up! brings all the coordinating products in, so they make it even easier for us to make stuff look cool. All right, so let's tuck those away. So there's our card. See, you could just use the same greeting we did on there. That would be okay, or maybe something a little larger. But those are ice creams, and this is the four by five and a quarter and I did not tuck that in there and I should have because now it's floating around here somewhere and then this is the four by six with this just scored and pulled over and now there's no waste at all nobody wants to waste that gorgeous paper do they okay so I'm gonna pull them all back out at the end again now I have my other one here for you and that one, this one's kind of fun. This is another no waste. And instead of six cards like we got out of one sheet of 12 by 12, now we're going to get nine cards because we're going to cut four by four. So definitely no waste on this one. So we can bring in our paper. And if I just figure out where the heck I just stuck it, I'm moving all my papers around over here. So now they just disappeared on me. And there it is. That is the, um, oh my goodness, I just said it before, didn't I? We were talking with the little celebration catalog. And it's right in the beginning. There it is, Paper Blooms. So this is the one we're working with, and I like this one. It's very colorful, and um, Eileen always told me, because sometimes not everybody likes these big flowers. Um, she always said, cut it smaller, and it'll look better. And you know what? She's right. I kind of like the big flowers on this one, and I'll show you why in a little while. And what, oh, and come back to the blog tomorrow because I got a really cute card to show you. So here's our 12 by 12. Let me grab that paper cutter back. And I have to giggle because my new paper cutter is sitting right over there. And I don't know why, but 
This one seems to be closer at all times. All right, so we are going to cut four by fours. So you're going to start with your four inches. I do not know if you can see that. I think I'm out of frame here. Let me pull that back. Okay, so now you can see the four inches up here. I'm going to get my scoring blade out of the way, and we will cut one. And then we'll pull this one out. And then up to your four inches again. And you can just bring that back down. I kind of do that because then my cutting blade is working on both sides. Not just you always pull it to one side. You're only cutting with one direction. All right. And now we're going to cut again four. And four. Now you can make cute little... Um, cards with these just cutting your cardstock a little bit bigger four and a quarter by eight and a half I believe it would be and you'd get a nice little square card and I heard a tip from another demonstrator who said she is also from the US she is actually from California and she said she puts her four by four and a quarter by four and a quarter square cards in a regular A2 envelope because we all know that we get charged extra postage for square envelopes. So she tucks it in a regular A2 envelope and it actually fits pretty good. So if you're looking at here would be close to your A2, then your card would fit in there. Just set a little bit on the edges there, but fits in there just fine. So there was another little shared tip from my fellow demonstrator, Patty. All right, get that paper cutter out of the way. Now we have nine pieces of paper to play with. And I mean, you could go with any color background. You could go with the balmy blue to go with the little blue polka dots in there. You could go with old olive to really make that pop. Or I believe that is, ooh, pink. I'll think of it. Or you can think of it. <laughs> Hello, Joanne. I see you popped in. Yay. Okay, so now you're ready to make nine cards. And you could do this one or two ways. You could, you could just use that one piece, as I said earlier, to make a card. Put one up here. You could put your little greeting down here. You could put a nice oval or a circle down here. and Or you could put your greeting up here. and You, you could do 101 different things with this paper. But we, tonight, I am going to show you how to do that split cut. Now, oh my gosh, I should have grabbed my curvy um, cards because those would have been perfect. Because if you remember, um, I think it was one of our live weekend parties and I showed you how to, oh, actually it was a Technique Tuesday. So you can flip back to my YouTube page and look at that. But that was also working with the 4x4s. And I took the curvy, um, quite curvy die and actually just cut this right in half. So this is based on the same premise as that. And I wish I would have um, grabbed one of those cards so you get a little reminder. Because once you see it, you're, you're going to remember the day we made those. I'm going to see if I can just find it quick. But not wasting too much time because I know I took some upstairs to show someone. So, oh well. Um, just look for, if you go into my blog, there's a search section right on the in the upper right-hand corner. So you can type in quite curvy 
and those cards will all pop up. So, all right, we need our paper cutter back here. So just as we would with that curvy die and cut this in half, we're going to cut this in half. So here would be your halfway mark, basically. Of course, we don't want to hack it right in half because that would be no fun. So we're going to do a split. So what I'm going to do is just leave, here's our cutting edge. So we're going to leave a little bit here and then a little bit more on the bottom. And the reason I'm doing that is just because normally um, we do heavier items towards the bottom. So now we're just going to cut this right in half. And there is our half. That is where our card splits. All right. We're going to take this one. And we are going to put this one on a piece of white. Now the white is cut four inches by five and a quarter, the same as you would, you know, a card front. That's normally what we use for our card fronts, right? Is that four inches by five and a quarter. They're kind of stuck in our head. I'm going to bring this all the way up. You could let a little show if you wanted to. And I should have made a sample like that, but I did not. So we're going to just pop that on there. And then I will also show you when I'm done with this, what it looks like if you don't put the white in there at all. Because you don't have to. This is just going to make my greeting pop just a little bit more. And I am using that beautiful soft sea foam as my background because as you can see, we have the soft sea foam in here. And then there's Night of Navy and the Rococo Rose. There's just so many pretty colors in there. Okay, so see our card front? This was our four inch piece. We just cut it. And now we have a nice spot and just a nice focal point for our greeting. So I am going to ink up my piece here. And I'm looking for a scrap piece because I want to stamp off and I don't want to stamp on my nice clean paper there. So here we go. There's one. And I don't want this real dark. So I'm just going to stamp that off, and then I'm going to stamp right there. So, see, that was dark enough the way it is. So, lucky thing that we stamped off, got a little bit lighter, and I, then I got another one that is actually going right over the top of this. So, it will say, thank you. from the bottom of my heart. And we're gonna do that in the Night of Navy, which ties this all together. Isn't that cute? So you can still see the thank you, but you have an extra special little greeting in there. And they have so many of them. So you can say you're so grateful and or I just wanted to say thank you, so grateful, thanks, you're amazing for all you do. This is the ornate stamps, and now I do have that die set out, so. I just want to grab that and give you a little peek at that. Look at that. That is, and that's why it's called ornate. It is gorgeous. So many different frames that you could use. And so cute. And this one here is almost your full card. So isn't that a wow? Pretty cool, right? And again, you could put ornate 
ornate thanks in the search engine on my blog and you will get some other cards that I've done with these so I'm just gonna tuck this away and we'll finish off our card Wow I didn't think that was all gonna go so fast tonight there we go and if you want you could pop that up but we are not going to we're just going to put that right on the card and now all that beautiful green is highlighted and it's just so pretty and this one is if you do not use the white and you stamp so if you're stamping with lighter colors feel free to just do your splice in between and then stamp right in there and you can always highlight that with you know a ribbon or bows or whatever especially this one because it has the card stock so you know what I think I have enough here let's just play with one more then you get a good feel of it right you see it again all right so let's get this right in the middle here and again you're four by four so you can decide whichever way you want this to go and then we're gonna tip it and you want a little piece here and oh I'm going I want my splice to go this way now I got myself all confused here girls this and this there we go so smaller up here and I guess it really wouldn't matter would it which direction your diagonal was going I guess that's all personal preference but we're gonna leave that a little smaller and there we go So, yep you're just gonna leave when you're cutting you're gonna leave see how this is shorter than this side here so when you tip it into your cutter this might help a little bit pretend this is this is your cutting line right here and then this is smaller than this piece here so then you'll get that and you could cut the other way but I think your eye flows better in this direction so but again that would be up to you and now let's do this one just a little different since we cut a second one and we want to play around anyways right let's leave a little bit of this white out doesn't have to be a lot but we'll just leave a little bit out that way you can see what that looks like because sometimes I know I give little suggestions, but I know I learn better if I can see it. So, and I learn even better if I do it. <laughs> so speaking of, Saturday, watch my blog, because on Saturday I'd like to gather with you and make some cards, or at least one, you can follow me, through this one and what you will need is 12 by 12 designer paper um, you can use either the circle dies or the circle um, what are they called the stitched shapes and the stitched shapes have the circles so we'll use those as well and then um, let's see designer paper that the either circle dies stitch circles or the circle shapes or stitch shapes I'll get it out but I'll have it all posted and then I would like to sit down on Saturday and I'll post the time with that that we can all gather together and kind of make this card together but it'll work better if you have the circle dies 
and then some 12 by 12 paper and then um, we'll play with everything in between there <laughs> so now we got our little edges sticking out right and I I have a tendency to babble a little bit if I'm um, don't have it all written down that's why I will be posting all the in what you will need and the time that we'll meet but I just thought it would be fun if we in a way could get together and stamp so this way and I actually miss Linda should have stamped before she put her um, twine on but well let's just play here let's see if we can do this we're women right we can do anything isn't that what the song says we are strong we are invincible All right I'm just trying to line this first one up and I think after that we'll be fine okay that's pretty good let's bring this down just a hair and this up just a hair there we go this is just gonna give it a little added dimension a little extra fun there right oh my goodness I slid it all the way back down this is being naughty on me you know what I know what I'll do I'm gonna go this way and then we'll go this way there we go that looks a little better okay let's snip this off sorry for the bump there ladies all right, now before I go too crazy and tie that up, I want to make sure I have a semi-smooth surface to work with. Now I got a little bit different greeting here. This is the Let's Celebrate You from the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, now we are going to add some extra adhesive, and guess who just ran out? All right, always got my back up here. I'm going to run that right down there. There we go. Make sure that doesn't come off. Ooh, that's cute. So cute. Push that down nice and hard. There we go. Now we got that little bit of white peeking out over here. Oh, I'm going to have to get my little glue thing out. A little bit of white peeking out down here and there. We're going to just press this down. We want to make sure that doesn't pop out. There we go. And then I'm going to do a double bow. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to just double this and stick it underneath and then tie a bow. And it'll just look a little, little heftier and a little bit more fun than that one little string. And then you can trim that off. Whoa, I almost pulled that whole thing out. This guy's pulling. There we go. This is the one we do not want to pull on because that's the one we need to trim. There we go. So let's just trim that off. There we go. And if you don't like that wobbling around, you can always take a little glue dot and stick that down tighter. Move your little um, ties there however you want. But those little lines pretty much follow our cuts. So it gives it a little more emphasis. And then we got the little white, which brings in the white from the flowers and the white where your greeting lies. 
So a lot of popping going on here without even using dimensionals. So we have that one. And then we have our little straight up card. So we started from bare minimum, just our four by four piece with stamping on the front. And then here's the one where we added the four inch by five and a quarter piece of white. And we just brought our split paper all the way to the edges. And then on this one, we added a little bow and we left a little bit of the white sticking out of each one. So cute, right? And simple. And what a fun way to make cards and waste no paper. My goodness, now if we could figure out a way that I wouldn't waste cardstock, I'd be on a roll. But. I'm a, I am I kind of hack up my cardstock, so that's probably not a good thing. But And then here are our ice cream cones. So this is the 4x6, scored at 5 and a quarter, and then folded over. And this is just a piece of 4 inch by 5 and a quarter. And you can stick that extra little 3 quarter inch piece right inside. And then these are exactly the same. The only thing difference is here is for a pattern like this, you need to watch which way you're cutting your four inches. So always be aware of that. With something like this, it's really not going to make a difference. Because those little berries, I mean, he probably looks better this way, but did anybody see think that those were wrong? I don't think so. So, super simple way to get that done. And, again, that was just the cutting with this nice 4x4 four four pattern. Or you have the 4x6 and then trim that 3 quarters inch off. Or you can just pre-cut that off and tuck those all on the insides for you. So... Quick and easy, I'll, I'll have another one um, for you on the blog tomorrow that is cute. And I, I made another one with this pattern paper here from the celebration. And um, you may have seen this when I first started. And that is because I figured the top three picks were um, for paper lovers all this paper right here, there are five packs of brand new, not released, 6x6 six six designer series paper that will be in the new catalog, but nobody's going to get it unless they join as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And don't let those words scare you off. You can say you're my team member. My team is Stars by Design. And we have everybody from business builders to hobbyists. If you're spending more than $1,200 a year on stamping supplies, you need to revisit and invest in yourself. The kit is $99, and you get to pick out $125 worth of product, plus you will get all this which is, I believe, somewhere in the $70 to $80 range. So that's additional to your $125 that you're only paying $99 for. Or so if you are thinking, or if you even have a question, let me know. There's no obligation. A question is free, and I got the answers if you need them. So thought there, just get you thinking. And then again, yep, get your papers out, ladies, because you're going to be cutting because this is really fun. And again, you can watch this anytime. Once I'm done here, I put these on my um, YouTube page. So hop on over to that and make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, also make sure that you um, click that little button so you get notified. So there's a notification button. So hopefully you can find that too. 
And I thank you, ladies, for spending this Wednesday evening with me, especially since um, we were supposed to be together yesterday. So I appreciate you holding out and coming back. And if you have any questions on what you saw here tonight, please feel free to message me. I will have another sample on my blog tomorrow along with this video again. So thank you again for joining me. If you like the video, feel free to share it with your friends. So, and that goes for Saturday too. You can invite friends over because it'll be right here on this page. So once you get the info, um, feel free to share it with your friends. It doesn't matter if they're in California or Florida or because it's going to be snowing pretty much everywhere or it'll be freezing cold. Nobody's going to want to go anywhere, so let's stamp. All right, have a good evening. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.